Hey everybody, I have a ginormous stack of books to get through and quite a bit of Batman and Batman related books as well. So uh, I didn't mean for it to turn out that way, it just did. So without further ado, let's get right into it with Detective Comics number 411. I just bought this yesterday. I was at an antique store and I came across this, paid $13 for it, could easily get 50 for it in this condition. I put this at about a fine minus, a fine to a fine minus. And uh, I was so lazy, I was actually not going to buy it because I didn't feel like going to the counter. But uh, the better of me caught up with me, if that sounds right. And I bought it and I'm happy. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Bleh. Okay. Infinite Crisis, Fight for the Multiverse, number one. This is the Harley Quinn, uh, Ralphie from Toy Story when he was in the bunny pajamas variant. Does that make sense? I don't know. It was like a $20 book. I love the store that I get my pull list from because I called them up the night before and asked them to set this aside for me and they did. Um, if I ask them to set aside a variant about, I'd say about eight times out of ten, they're able to do that. So, um, got to hand it to them on this. It's a, like I said, it's around a $20 book and they only charge me like seven, seven dollars for it. So, hell yeah. Very cool. Very cool looking book here. I love the cover. Lois Lane, number 106. Um, the the lowest lane becomes a black woman uh i've been looking for a decent copy of it this is probably the most decent copy that i've come across so far i paid i don't know how much was this thing like maybe 12 13 or 14 or something like that so i got this a couple of weeks ago i forgot what i paid but it was around in that range I found myself another copy of deadpool number 65 yep got it it looks it looks really really good i have to say um there might be a little bit of a uh i don't know might be a little bit of a maybe a little bit of a split right there but other than that this book is beautiful pay 12 for it uh, I remember i told you uh the store wanted like 30 to 35 for their copy i was at the that convention that i told you about a couple of weeks ago the guy is still trying to move that fucking thing so good luck trying to sell that deadpool 65 for 30 dollars and speaking of the convention i forgot to show this a sealed april o'neill figure from the uh from the original toy line how cool is that now this is bringing me back because i definitely had this when i was a kid i forgot she had like a, a throwing star and a little pistol i forgot about that and a microphone which could be a flashlight, I don't know. But there you go. Okay, let's keep moving. With a grossly, grossly... Uh, you know what? Let's go with uh, this book. These books right here. These set of books right here. Fury, or actually Firestorm the Nuclear Man. This is the first appearance of, I think... Robbie Raymond? I forget, but uh, this character is one half of Firestorm and he's going to be featured in the Flash uh, television show and the first issue of Firestorm has jumped up I forgot to mention this last week but uh, yeah if you can be on the lookout for uh, if you would be so kind as to be on the lookout for Firestorm the nuclear man number one uh, go ahead and do that don't be confused with um, the fury of Firestorm that's the uh, second volume and you have, and it, and, it, and it only went for five, this first volume only went for five issues. So you have number two, uh, number three. I showed these books off before. Um, also, really be on the lookout for number three, first appearance of Killer Frost. Uh, number four, and number five. So there you go. I forget the character's name who makes up uh, Fire, the character's names who make up Firestorm, but uh, just look for Firestorm. Okay. Here we go with a very, very, very undervalued book, Stars and Stripe, number zero, first appearance of Stargirl. 
this is this is a character that has she's she's had a lot of exposure a lot relatively a uh, good amount of exposure i'd have to say she was in the uh justice league unlimited cartoon her character was featured in smallville live a live action tv show and she's also uh currently in the new 52 right now in the justice league something something or other title i forget but she is in this first appearance here doesn't go for anything i bought this near mint for like maybe a couple of bucks probably i think less than cover price so i would definitely uh along with firestorm be on the lookout for stars and stripe number zero now when i searched for this book i found this book uh quite a few times but they weren't it wasn't in the condition that i was willing to uh that i was satisfied with so if you can get a nice near mint copy for a couple of bucks definitely do that so stars and stripe number zero first appearance of star girl here we go with Deadpool versus X Force number one, the J. Scott Campbell variant cover. Uh, not a lot to say about it. Just I was searching for it. Um, I paid like twenty bucks for it, including the cost of shipping. So it was like fifteen and like five dollars shipping. So yeah, I wanted it. I bought it. So yay for me. Okay, another cool book. Nightwing number one. This is from nineteen ninety six. Now this book has gotten hot and high all of a sudden or seemingly I was at a store uh, about a month ago and I saw this book well I saw this co a copy of Nightwing number one uh, they wanted tw and, and it was in similar condition to this one and they wanted twenty dollars for it and I'm like who the fuck is paying twenty dollars for Nightwing number one from 1996 and I come I go back to that store like two weeks later and that copy of Nightwing number one is gone. Somebody paid twenty dollars for it, or close to twenty dollars for it. And uh, I noticed online that that this book is like inching up in price. I think um, there's a there are a few auctions right now where this book is going for like fifteen dollars, and the auction hasn't ended yet. So I, can, I this book can easily go for twenty. Um, Luckily, I was at the store where I picked this up at my uh, the store where I get my pull list from, and somehow miraculously they had this there because I mean people go through their back issues like crazy, and I'm so surprised that I found this. And there, it's not perfect, perfect because there's like a little, there's like a dent right there if you can see it. it might be hard to see, but uh, I only paid nine dollars for it and definitely worth it in this condition and for what it's uh going for online so um nightwing number one and i noticed like after that i went into the like the nightwing section of a lot of stores and number one is always gone so um I, if you can find nightwing number one go ahead and do that justice league adventures uh number 13 the first appearance of all star this book is shot up over the past couple of what over the I would say over the past month or something like that the lot that live wire craze has uh, sent a lot of first appearances of uh, comic books based on cartoons based on comic book comic books based on comic book cartoons the first appearances of characters in those comics um, have just like really shot up in price and uh, this book is no exception. Uh, number 13, I noticed this book is going for about 15 to 20 online. Um, I was lucky enough to find this for like a couple of bucks. And it was just sitting there. I'm just like, okay, all right, let me go on ahead and buy that. And from the same store, I bought Superman Adventures number 66. Uh, the final, uh, this is the final issue in the series. And Livewire does make an appearance in this issue. She's like prominent in the issue, as a matter of fact. She's like a bad guy, and she actually sees the light and becomes a good guy in the issue. So, uh, fun, fun, fun issue. How many times can I say issue? Sensation Comics, number one, uh, the Millennium Edition reprint. Uh, you know, not a lot to say about it. You know, just I got it for a couple of bucks. 
Uh, I noticed people online want like 50 to $60 for it. Nobody's going to pay that much, but I noticed that people want that much for it. So, I mean, this is probably the type of book you can find really cheap. So, and if you find it, definitely buy it. Just, you know, just for history's sake, just thumb through it and see, oh, okay, this is the, or these are the origins of a, of a great character. You dig? Okay. Uncanny X-Men number 350. Uh, this is a newsstand version. Uh, I noticed that the um, that the regular cover, that the direct edition cover, doesn't have that barcode right there. So um, and it and it's not hollow foil. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was like it cost me like four fifty. I think I thought it was worth it just for the hell of it. You know, it's a newsstand version of a uh, hollow foil cover. So what, why the hell not? Okay, uh, look at this. Uh, look at you. Look at you, baby. Look at you. Um, you're not pretty enough to put a prom dress on, but I'd still, you know, I'd still drive around with you. Detective Comics number 359, first appearance of Batgirl. Let's get right into the condition. Um, I wound up paying 200 for this book. Um, did I overpay for it? I feel I did, but I, I don't know. I just felt I had to jump on it only because, uh, this is like the the most decent looking copy that I've come across in a long time. Every copy that I've seen where they want uh, around 200 for the staples are popped or just some other defect that I wouldn't have been able to live with. So and this book is solid. It's definitely not perfect. I put this at a VG, um, probably, you know, probably around a VG. And um, I don't know. I, I think I would have been more comfortable paying like around 175 for it at the most. Um, but again, I had to, I had, I don't know. I just felt I had to jump on it. And I think down the road, um, this $200 just might pay off, you know? So why not? And when I was, he actually threw this book in, um, I guess to soften the blow. Now this is the book that I went into the store for. This is Brave and the Bold, number 33 from the volume two. Uh, this features Zatanna, Wonder Woman, and Batgirl. This is kind of like a prelude story to the killing joke, because there she there's a, a healthy Barbara Gordon. And this is pre-New 52. So um, pre-New 52, she's you know still paralyzed. So, and this I noticed this book is um is really I don't know, relatively hard to find and relatively expensive. I noticed I was at a store uh, a, a few days ago and they wanted $25 for this book. And I was and like I said, I uh, bought this and he threw this book in. So I actually, I asked him, will you throw this book in too? If I pay 200 in cash? And he's like, okay, all right. So, and I noticed online that uh, Brave and the Bold 33 goes for around... I think around 10 to 15. So um, definitely be on the lookout for this book right here. Great cover too. I love this cover. Love the cover. All right. Do you remember those? Do you remember those index book that, well, the Captain America index book that I showed you? Well, I found some more Marvel Comics indexes. This is Amazing Spider-Man. Um, this is actually the first issue of the Marvel Comics Index, and it basically gives you info on um, the Amazing Spider-Man issues and um, that run of Amazing Fantasy as well. So, and it's not, you know, not a story or anything like that. It's just basically, um, it gives you a black and white picture of the cover of the comic and like info on who wrote it, who did the inking, that kind of thing, publication date and that kind of thing. So, and it's and I notice these books are relatively hard to find, especially uh, this first issue. Um, I got it for three bucks. Probably goes for about twenty or something like that. Uh, and you know, kind of a unique, never before seen cover. Found another index. Uh, this is a uh, Jim Steranko, the great, the great Jim Steranko. Um, he did this cover. Look how awesome this freaking cover is. God, whoo, man, the great Jim Steranko, man, look at that, beautiful artwork, um, this covers, uh, all the, uh, fantastic, well, 
most of the Fantastic Fours uh, up until, what, 1976 or something like that. So there you go. All right. Ooh, a really cool, very, very, very cool looking Marvel graphic novel. This is uh, Doctor Strange into Shambhala. You know what? Let's open this thing up. This is a gorgeous book, man. Gorgeous freaking book. We got we to gotta get into this. Uh, how much did I pay for this? I think this was like maybe... Look at that. Look at the art on this book. Seriously. This is from 1986. This art is freaking gorgeous. And towards the end of the story, there's titties in it. I won't show you that because there's probably kids watching. But God, look at the art on this, man. Beautiful. And I noticed this book... Uh, like I said, I paid $5 for it. I noticed this book goes for about goes for about 15 to 20. And I think once the Doctor Strange movie is announced and uh, once production begins, this book is going to be a very, very, very hot item. Uh, just based off of the artwork, just based off of the story, um, this is going to be a very kind of just an interesting Doctor Strange uh, book to have. So um, if you find it and get and find it for like under 15 bucks, go ahead and do that because this is um, going to be very hot. And also, I've never seen I never saw this, but I never even knew this book existed before um, I saw it at the comic book store. So, I mean, you, you find something new every day at the comic book store. I tell you that much right now. Another Marvel graphic novel. Um, the she -Hulk, she Hulk, I don't know, paid less than five bucks for it. You know, yeah, you know, I just feel I just felt that it's in it was in high enough can high enough grade and it was in it was at the right price for me to buy it. So I did. I'll probably read it. Uh, comics book number one. This is like um, like an indie magazine or something like that. I haven't read it yet. It was only three dollars. I think this book goes for like maybe ten or something like that. In this can in this kind of like VF condition, so I'm like, okay, I'll buy it, no problem. Ah, where the hell am I gonna put you? All right, okay, Brave and the Bold, number two hundred. Let's move all this stuff. Okay, oh, you're so heavy. Oh, into Shambhala. What's up? That is a cold book. That book is cold. Okay, uh, Brave and the Bold, number 200. I found myself another copy, first appearance of The Outsiders, first appearance of Katana. You know what, let's, let's move you right there because you are good looking. Look at you, look at you. All right, um, I don't know. I got another copy, so no big deal. All right, um, speaking of Katana, Here's her origin in Batman and the Outsiders number 11. And, the f and I believe this is also the first appearance of her husband. And if that isn't, then this is right here. Um, Batman and the Outsiders number 12. So be on the lookout for both of these issues, okay? All right. Some more. Some more books. Yes, we are, we are going. We are going heavy. I tell you what, I'll show you this book right here. This is this uh, is the reprint. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the trade of um, Punisher, Circle of Blood. This reprints the um, the first, I think, four or five issues of that Punisher. Those well, it reprints the Punisher miniseries from I believe 1986. The great Mike Zack, his artwork. God, I love this cover. I've been looking for this for a long time. Got this. For like, it's in really, really good shape too. And I got it for like, um, God, I got it for like a dollar something. It was really cheap. So really happy about that. Okay. Batman Adventures number 10. Um, I, this is a relatively tough book to find, I have to say, and also relatively expensive as well. Um, just, I think just based off of the cover alone. I noticed this is from the that's the second volume of Batman Adventures, and I noticed this is a very popular cover. I was lucky enough to get, um, I think, pay like three bucks for it. But I know you can, I know you you can it goes for about, er, I want to say about ten to fifteen online easily. So just based off of this cover. Also, uh, Batman Adventures number fifteen, uh, second volume. 
um, nice Mr. Freeze cover. So, and also again another ten to fifteen dollar cover. So I, that second volume of Batman Adventures is kind of pretty. It's a pretty collectible little series, I have to say. All right, here we go with uh, Hellblazer number four, the first appearance of Zed. Now, Zed, uh, they announced that the character would be in the Hellblazer series. So this is her first appearance right here in Hellblazer number four. She's going to be, like I guess, the female lead in the Hellblazer in the Constantine series. So Constantine TV, TV series. So there you go. All right, I have been searching high and low for this book. Do you hear me? I've been looking for this book in the daylight with a flashlight. Teen Titan Spotlight number uh, 14. This features the first appearance of, well, not the first appearance, but the first meeting of uh, Nightwing and Batman. Dick Grayson, when he becomes Nightwing, uh, this is him uh, meeting Batman for the first time, so... Uh, not a expensive book, but it is so freaking tough to find, man. Every shop that I went to, um, they didn't have it. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. I had to search for this book, so and got it for like a couple of bucks. I found this in the twenty-five cent bin. Web of Spider-Man number eighteen, first appearance of uh the Scarlet Spider, or yeah. Yeah, the first appearance of Ben Riley as a Scarlet Spider. I know this, this book is around, what, 10 to 15 bucks or something like that. So, eh. Glad to find it for 25 cents. And it's complete. And it has that uh, subscription uh, insert inside the book. So, hell yeah. Some more books, man. I'm telling you, this doesn't end. This doesn't stop. Here we go with uh, Batman, Batgirl, Thrill Killer, number 62. Um, I know that I remember uh, District 12 talking about this book as it's the first appearance of uh, Thrill Killer Harley Quinn or something like that. Yeah. So it, I know uh, not an expensive book, but hard to find. I paid I think I paid like five bucks for it. Definitely worth the five bucks. Definitely worth that. So hell yeah. All right. Some more books. I'm telling you, don't stop. Supernatural, the Supernaturals, number four. This is where you have like all the uh, the uh, weird characters of the Marvel Universe getting together to stop terror where it starts or something like that. Now, the significance of the Supernaturals, number four, is that this is a uh, rare appearance of Groot. And I think he makes like a little cameo in uh, like one of the pages. And also, this has the... Uh, i tell you what. Let's open this thing up. Shit. Let's go on ahead. We got time. <laughs> or do we? I don't know. But uh, here we go. Be on the lookout. Okay, you see where it says... Halloween mask inside. Collect all of them, including the rare Ghost, Ghost Rider mask. Okay, well, here we go right here. Found the rare Ghost Rider mask. There we go. Yay for me. I paid like four bucks for it. Not an expensive book. And I really haven't tried to search for it all like that. So I really can't say if it's hard to find or not. But um, I did find it and I'm happy for it. And I feel so much better as a person having found it. Um, Web of Spider-Man number 32. Um, nothing significant about it. Really just a famous cover. Paid like a couple of bucks for it. Uh, Marvel 2-in-1, number 52, again, paid a couple of bucks. First appearance of Crossfire, I don't know, whatever. Um, also, uh, the second print of Venom, number one, it's a red cover. I just figured it was like five bucks. I figured I'd go ahead and buy it. And let's see what else. Some more Batman, uh, number 619. I, Although I had... The entire Hush uh, series, I bought each. I bought each issue as they came out, like back in two thousand three. I never had the villains cover. This is the conclusion of Hush uh, to the Hush storyline. I never had the the villains cover. I always only had the heroes cover. So uh, I saw this for like three bucks or something like that, and I bought it. And last but not least, here we go with uh, like I mentioned before, uh, super comic book. 
uh, comic book cartoons based on comic books, uh, first appearance of Unique. Um, again, kind of a hard book to find. I think that first series of Batman Beyond, those first six issues, um, are tough as shit to find. Um, I, I managed to find number six, like I said, first appearance of Anique. I'm not sure how much this book is going for, really, because I really don't, I really haven't seen anything on eBay about, with the, concerning, uh, number six, but, um, I don't know, paid a couple of bucks for it, so, yeah, happy, happy to find it, so, that's my week, uh, a lot of books, like I said, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully we can do the uh, 25 cent. Uh, I got through all these books in one one sitting, just so I could be able to get through get to the uh, 25 centers that I picked up uh, last week. So hopefully I can do that. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully I can do that next week. So be on the lookout. And uh, you guys have a good weekend. Be on the hunt, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, bye.